If you're experiencing stress, high levels of anxiety, guilt, depression, or feel like the symptoms of pain and cravings just won't go away, and it feels like there's never enough high-risk activities, food, or drugs to satisfy your cravings, and you look for anything to make yourself feel better, you may have a condition called Reward Deficiency Syndrome. RDS is a genetic imbalance in a portion of your brain, the same portion that produces feelings of peace and well-being, happiness, and pleasure. Dopamine is the neurotransmitter responsible for these feelings. It's produced in the area of our brain where we feel the deepest emotions. When there's an imbalance, your body naturally fights against it and will do what it needs to to obtain proper levels of dopamine so you can feel balanced and happy again. These desires are your cravings. There are many substances that can produce dopamine. Carbohydrates like sugar, chocolate, and bread. High-risk behaviors that can give you an adrenaline rush. Certain types of drugs, like alcohol and narcotics, and even sexual relations. Maybe you've been labeled impulsive or are told that you have ADHD. When you have RDS, these cravings are normal. In fact, you've probably had them all your life. You just didn't know what to call it. You are not alone. In fact, one-third of the U.S. population has some form of this genetic condition. This important genetic treatment information has been the missing piece in your personalized treatment plan. But now, LaVita RDS, along with your treating clinic or doctor, knows where to find your answer. There is a way for you to obtain this missing component to your treatment plan a treatment called synaptamine. Synaptamine will help you break free from the negative emotions and cravings that you are experiencing and take control of your life and happiness. You can overcome your genes and environment even if you don't have the RDS gene, but do have depleted brain chemicals from symptoms of pain or stress you can start your path to freedom right away by asking your physician for a free five-day sample of synaptamine. When a person feels unbalanced with their emotions, stress, or pain symptoms, it is usually a result of low neurotransmitter levels in the brain. The brain communicates with itself with tiny micro-connections called synapses. It is here in these synapses that your feelings or lack of feelings originate. The synapse is so important because it dictates whether you are happy, sad, stressed, or elated. Dopamine, for example, is responsible for your happiness and well-being. It is called the reward chemical. When your brain is low on dopamine, it starts to crave. These craving feelings are urges for certain activities, drugs, foods, or behaviors that will change your levels of dopamine and force you into a state of active reward deficiency syndrome. No one likes to be in a state of low dopamine. It is very unpleasant and stressful. Synaptamine can assist in correcting many of the barriers that produce these low levels of dopamine and other neurotransmitters. Synaptamine can assist in correcting and normalizing your neurochemistry so you can begin to feel normal and back in control again. Dopamine makes you feel calm like you feel after you've run a mile or two. You are relaxed but energized at the same moment. It's like a natural runner's high or an increase in endogenous dopamine. Synaptamine performs this feat within the smallest function part of the brain, the synapse. 
Dopamine is created from the amino acid pool in the back end of the presynapse, then released into the synaptic cleft connecting with the postsynaptic receptors. It is here that the message is transmitted to the brain completing the circuit, ending up with a feeling of well-being and happiness. Once the dopamine message has been transmitted, the dopamine molecule is released from the receptor and travels back to the presynapse to be reabsorbed. There are many steps where this system or cascade can break down. When a breakdown occurs, you experience stress, unhappiness, or negative emotions. For example, you might not have enough amino acids to form dopamine. You might not be able to create enough dopamine to be released. You might not have enough receptors to transmit the dopamine signal. You might have too many enzymes that will break down the dopamine molecule too fast. Any one or a multitude of these steps breaking down the cascade order will result in negative emotions, or RDS. Synaptamine can assist in correcting these problems and help you to produce and process dopamine in order for you to have a happy and positive outlook on life. You take synaptamine twice a day, in the morning and in the afternoon. It has been proven in more than 30 peer-reviewed studies to be safe and effective as a dopamine agonist and to produce an increase of well-being. If you are craving independence and want to feel balanced and happy again, then synaptamine is your answer. Visit our website, www.lavitards.com, for a more detailed explanation of how synaptamine works. And speak with your physician about trying a free sample of synaptamine. Don't let negative emotions control your life any longer. Get your free sample today. Thank you for watching. I'm Marcelo Fibo. I'm a faculty member in the Department of Psychiatry at the University of Florida. I'm also a researcher in the McKnight Brain Institute. Um, so we carried out an experiment to examine the effects of KB220Z on resting state fMRI in an animal model. We carried out these experiments on an 11 Tesla scanner, which is a unique scanner, very powerful MRI scanner that's available in only certain places of the world, including the University of Florida. In our study, we did a comparison of placebo administered and KB220Z uh, administered rats. Uh, this was oral administration, and we gave the animals the medication, the KB220Z or the placebo, orally while they were in the scanners. So we found that uh, KB220Z in comparison to the placebo um, causes uh, increase in functional connectivity in multiple regions of the brain. Um, we used a segmented atlas of the brain uh, to look at connectivity between 65 regions. Um, this is all based on the atlas and what we found was that there was an increase in connectivity between regions such as the anterior cingulate, the hippocampus, the thalamus, the medial thalamus, the nucleus accumbens. Uh, so these results are important because it's been shown that in, um, in subjects that are dependent on strong drugs such as cocaine, heroin, for example, there's reductions in functional connectivity between these regions and other regions of the brain. This seems to worsen over time. So this finding indicates that the KB220Z may have the potential of having the opposite effect, if in, again increasing functional resting state connectivity between these regions. So this may have a positive effect on um, functional um, activity in the brain and perhaps also may help um, people suffering from addiction.